Hello, I'm Steve Wonecki. Welcome to this video. We will be looking at how this cuphead print was made. From carving to printing, I will be sharing with you the entire process. Now let's get started. Let's start with the Photoshop file. The artwork was designed by Studio MDHR, and they provided me with the line work and the color separations. As you can see, we have a light blue, orange, dark blue, a red, and a dark background. Background will actually be printed as black in the finished work. I will start with just the outlines. I'll print them out, glue them down, and I will begin to carve. This will become the key block. Now we will glue down the hanchita or the transfer sheet. Here I'm using a water-based adhesive called nori. I apply a generous amount onto the wood as the wood likes to soak it in. I place the design into the registration marks called kento. I carefully rub the backing sheet with a printing tool called a baron. Slowly I peel the backing sheet from the gompi. This is actually a piece of American cherry. I didn't end up using this wood because it was too soft. I ended up gluing another transfer sheet down onto a piece of Japanese cherry. And this is the beginning of a new wood block print. The wood I'm using for the key block is Mountain Cherry from Japan. I took two blocks and joined them together to fit the design. The knife I'm using to carve the lines is called a hangito. I carve both sides of the black lines away, leaving only the raised part. When printing, the ink sits on top of the line and is transferred to the paper. This small chisel is called a bullnose chisel, or an aisuki. After the lines are cut and the small areas are cleaned up, I use a large gouge to clear the perimeter.
It took me around four weeks to complete this. Here, I'm washing off the remaining glue and copy transfer paper. Now it's time to make transfer sheets. These transfer sheets consist of a thicker printing paper and a thin sheet of gompi. Gompi is a strong fiber that does not expand or contract too much. It is very thin, similar to tracing paper. After it's glued to your block, you can see through it. You actually carve right through the paper into the wood. And there it is, the very first impression. Now I'll continue to print one sheet per color. I think I'll print about eight sheets here. These transfer sheets will be used for the color blocks. Here's where I'll stop the first video. I'll continue here for part two, where we will glue down our transfer sheets, carve the color blocks, proof, and print the final design. Thank you for watching this video, and please leave any comments or questions below. And be sure to follow me for more printmaking content like this.